Hello Collective, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. You guys, let's tap in. Let's get a message for you guys. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading. So the messages may or may not resonate with you. Take the messages that resonate with you, your personal situations, and leave the rest. Please. We got manifestations and new beginnings. This card come out for the past three days. This card then came out. Okay, that's wild. Somebody's manifested new stuff, new shit, new love, new new energy. Due to your good deeds, could be even uh, manifesting money or something like that, but. There's happy times coming because maybe there's some sort of positive manifestations coming through for you guys. So you went for something. You did something. Maybe you cleared some sort of karma or you cleared something out of your way. There could have been something that was going to cause you a delay if you didn't do something. But since you did it, guy like, okay, I see you. Wish granted. <laughs> so your wishes is granted now. So that means that Somebody could be having troubles coming in. They have problems with the law because you actually have the power here. And somebody is awakening to see things your way. That something is going to be coming to an end because you had a rebirth. Good luck and fortune is on your side. Somebody could have tried to abuse their power at this new moon. And they are maybe currently experiencing some sort of ramifications for it. All right. Yeah. Thoughts and sad news. So somebody's in their thoughts about this. Maybe somebody's hearing sad news about you being held in high honor or something like that. <clears throat> we got the world card. You're down in the beginning. Happy time. Somebody can see you celebrating. You could be celebrating a party or a birthday or a, just some sort of get together or gathering or something like that. What's the world? You could be traveling or something like that. What's the world? So something is giving you more time and freedom, okay? What is the word? Wow. Love. Okay. Somebody's having a new beginning in love. This is a good match. Somebody that's extremely compatible. Friendship, falling in love. Somebody could be falling in love. Aww. Or you will be in this new beginning. I love this. Mm-hmm. Mm. There's a main male that is wanting to marry you. <sighs> okay. They always wanted to marry somebody like you or something. Marry somebody that works... For themselves or something like that. They're expecting you to maybe live a private life or something like that. Or they was expecting you to have like a comfortable life. And it's really got somebody in their thoughts. Okay. About this. So somebody is expecting there's a main male either coming towards you. You know this person or this person is coming in your energy right now at this time. But new love. Wow. Okay. It could be new love and a new beginning or it's somebody from your past. Take it as it resonates. New beginning, so good love or beautiful love in this new beginning. I love that. This could even be love of family, friends, all of that. Something really beautiful is happening for you. Your life is so weak.
Spirit, Divine Spirit, what is the message? Okay. Three cards that came out. A new world is born. Okay, again. Now that you became a great leader, you have discovered, rediscovered your individuality and became the dragon. Look at that. So it's funny, this card is called Mermaid in a Koi Pond. And you may be different from a lot of people, but you still found your place in the world. You are this great leader. And now that you found your individuality, like you could be yourself in this new world. Um, and it is a bunch of people around you that could be like all the same, but you kind of like stick out in such a way or something like that. And that's okay. All right. But it's a good, it's a good thing. Okay. It's like you could bring joy to people around you or something like that. Now that you became this, now that you, you stand in tall. So what I'm getting as well. Hmm. And I feel like this is was drawing in that love energy. Okay. Yeah. Now that you became, you say what you say, what you say kind of energy. <laughs> I don't know. There's a common out of chaos. Because you rediscovered your individuality. Like somebody is well aware that you are, you really have became a great leader and it is what it is. Wow. Somebody could have had a distorted view here about a situation or overindulged in doing something. What goes around comes around. Once upon a midnight dream, somebody is trying to heed wise counsel now because they know something has been cleared away. It's cleanup time and the common of the chaos has happened and you are being watched over. It's a time for spirit. So, yeah, this is really freaking good, okay? I don't know what you changed, but that was the right thing. Okay, whether it's you standing up for yourself, whether you was facing challenges, whether you are... It's something that you had to face or something in order to do this, to get this new beginning in love. Maybe really affirm something to the universe here about what it is that you desire. All right. And now that you became a dragon, some the the dragon, the ind an individual. All right. You rediscovered your individuality, became a dragon. Somebody really had a distorted view about a situation or something like that. I don't know. Or somebody could have uh, tried to I guess distort your view about someone or whatever. But you still see it clearly. That's what I'm getting. Because it says the fairy of the divine hand. Somebody trying to distort your view in any way, shape, or form, you were still able to see through the fog. All right. Also, somebody may have a distorted view about you and what you stood for in life or something. Yeah, love spell was too hard. They can't do love spells on you. You say what you mean to mean what you say. Because you're in this leadership position. Yeah, somebody could have did a love spell to get a date with you. And it didn't work. What's the message? And they're shocked. What's the message, Holy Spirit? Moving. You'll be traveling soon. Somebody can be changing residence or moving in with their partner. What else? No, it's not the right time. You and your partner may be physically and emotionally distant. Distant. What else? Date night. Get ready to be wined and dying. It came out crossing. So there's no date night because it's not the right time to be moving like that. I don't know. Or because this, it, 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 somebody could have moved in with a partner or changed, had to move, change residence. 
could be a fire sign, okay? Leo, Aries, or a Sag. Listen to your intuition. You, they know that you're listening to your intuition. Someone that's full of themselves know that a cycle has came to it. And that's why it's so challenging for a gold digger to get you to open your heart. Uh, they know they got to let go. Because they feel like somebody could be in the middle trying to sabotage their love spell. And they need to proceed with caution with that. What else? Honeymoon. Divorce. Yeah, something was definitely short-lived. All right, somebody's trying to figure out why something didn't last. So there's an expect a breakup. Somebody's expecting a breakup. Honeymoon. In a honeymoon phase, date night. Because it's not the right time for somebody to do something. Child, what is going on? Hmm. Someone is expecting a breakup. Or they're expecting not to hear from somebody. Expecting a breakup. Once upon a love story with a copycat. Oh, oh. They know they fucked up. They could have ran from this situation. Somebody know they fucked up. They know this is over now. Yeah, because you tired of the drama with somebody. You really are. Somebody that's very insecure. You're sick of their drama. This person could is very insecure. So once upon a love story, yeah, it's like, okay, we was cool, but somebody's tired of somebody's drama that's insecure. They know that. And this person don't hate nothing about you, but it's it's just mixed blessings here because this person is like their insecurity may be making somebody go distant. All right, so my insecurities may be having somebody distant from them. Yeah, they tired. you tired of the drama. Or somebody's tired of the drama. Once upon a love story, tired of the drama. Yeah, because something is outdated. Something that somebody is doing. They, somebody's tired of the drama, maybe with a copycat. Because something is outdated. Outdated. You know, somebody being extra childish. All right. Somebody's being discarded because they're childish. And it's just weird. Okay? So somebody's tossing it away. Somebody's very angry. Because somebody is keeping their options open. And they feel like it's just bad timing. Because somebody's been holding something back here. How they are not in an illusion anymore. And they really love you. And some sort of tantric sex has this person in their feelings. Child. And it's like this person is not. You're, they're not receiving you good or something like that. Or you're not receiving this person good. Because how they acting. Okay. Like somebody is like. Mm -hmm. What's this outdated energy? Setting a record straight. Childish. Somebody being childish. Something is outdated here with someone that could hit a bank failure. Somebody could be setting a record straight here. Somebody is definitely being childish or how somebody was moving with you. Okay. 1414 is a positive to sneeze. How somebody was moving with you is like weird. You could set the record. They could be setting the record straight or something like that. About a bank failure being outdated because of a copycat. All right. Or somebody's tired of this copycat here. Somebody's tired of the drama and this love story. So, yeah, secrets of the past is something that's about to pop off. Okay. Somebody's dark side keeps them from enjoying love. Don't let them steal your joy. Somebody's up in the air. Something is up in the air. Somebody feels like um, somebody, since you have rediscovered your individuality, somebody could be more callous. All right. Somebody that feels like you're a great match or somebody loves somebody. But it's just, uh, it's, it's, too, it's a sticky situation, apparently. 
And somebody wants to set the record straight. If they want to set the record straight, it take, that it takes two. Okay. Yeah, you already know the T. So this person... Both of y'all aren't committed or in this. That's why. Okay? Both of y'all. So, okay. <laughs> it takes two. Literally. Like this person, I feel like, is angry because you mirror them. When it comes to the energy, maybe this person is non committal, and when they around you, they see them and you, and they get angry or something like that. It could be a twin flame connection or something like that, but just another notch in on the on the headboard. The real deal, or is it the real deal? Actions speak louder, and your actions is speaking like. Whatever. Somebody doesn't, you know, it's whatever. Yeah. And this is like a pattern of relationships, issues with bad habits. It's no win in this situation. So somebody maybe you may be walking away from something like this here. It was short lived. It was like, okay, cool. Somebody's expecting a breakup because it's just y'all don't mix, you know, with somebody. It's a vicious cycle that, that needs to be broken. And I feel like you have made it very clear, maybe to the universe, like, you know what, I tried this, and maybe you needed to look at something that is that pre-shadow, uh, that uh, Mercury retrograde energy, and I feel like there's a lot of things coming back around to you guys, whether this is exes or something like that, just so that you can look at it closely and then let the universe know. Like, so is we keeping this or are we going to toss it in the trash? And your word is bond to the universe. So it's like, yeah, I already, I feel like, because you have grown so much. So you know, right? And somebody didn't want you to talk. They knew that it was the final countdown kind of energy. And I feel like they tried to distort your view. Like, no, it's love. Look, look, look. But they couldn't wear the mask on because of their toxicity confirmation. So somebody could be hella toxic. And... It's just y'all bring out the worst in each other or something like that with this person. <clears throat> What's honeymoon? So something with short lives. Honeymoon. Putting on a show. Yeah, because they got caught up. <laughs> So somebody got caught up putting on a show. Like I said, somebody mad fell off. Yeah, getting caught putting on the show. Wow. Bad choices. They feel like that was a bad choice because they only fucked it up even worse. It's like they somebody solidified like you really closing the chapter or something like that because they know now you're going to be hella closed off. Somebody knows like you don't, it's some sort of... You're not as emotional as you used to be, okay? Or something like that. You're no you don't lead with your emotions. You know how some people are extra emotional. Um you're more sturdy looking at all the aspects of a situation and making a firm decision on what it is that you are going to do or something like that. And it don't take you long cuz you see it, you 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 identify it and you keep it moving. Like you you don't, it don't take you long at all. Like and I feel like that came with time y'all somebody something this came with some sort of growth spiritual growth maybe knowing what it is and saying what you there it is saying what you mean and meaning what you say you don't mix words you know how long it takes for somebody to actually get to that um to that phase and stage in life and i feel like whoever you are you have mastered that well yeah I feel like you're you're mastering that. Saying what you mean and meaning what you say. Um, not making decisions off of emotions alone. Looking at the bigger picture is like every situation you look at the bigger picture, you look at things as a um investment. You're starting to look at life as bigger than just, oh, is this is this going to uh benefit me on a spiritual level level or is it going to help me grow maybe you're doing stuff like that this is helping you make better decisions for your life and it's actually like squashing all of the confusions of narcissism and stuff like that because you don't mix words and you don't you say it with your chest and you you with a straight face in the face of those that you need to and that's that's a little like 
off-putting because maybe you were never like that. Okay? So somebody feels like you hella closed off here. Yeah. And they feel like that's why you was, that's why they got caught up like this. But that was a bad choice somebody did. Try to put on a show and they created a mess. That was a bad choice. Yeah, because then everything fell apart. And they like, oh my. Yeah, you, you can't, like, you're not the, if you're a feminine, you're not the right, if, especially if you're in this leadership position, you're not the regular run-of-the-mill feminine. You make, you have to make serious decisions on an everyday basis, maybe for the, I don't know what you do, but for the community or for your collective or something, you have a very big position here and there's no, no time for any type of weakness, nor is there time for you to be mixing words. Like your throat chakra is everything. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Your throat chakra is everything. You saying what you mean, meaning what you say is a huge part of your journey. Making real decisions that's thought out and that's not ego based. And whoever this is that wanted to, and I know this is like somebody wanted them to be with y'all, it's sad, but you handle a situation very diplomatic, is what I'm hearing. And God, like, okay, I see you. That's what they, I see you. Okay, okay. You're not settling and you're being fair. And I feel like that's why somebody fucked up. They got caught putting on the show and they created a mess. They could be talking to somebody. <laughs> they created that they weren't able to fulfill a fantasy. Whatever fantasy they had, they weren't able to fulfill that shit at all because shit. It's like they barely got out the station kind of energy. I don't know what, what that is. Yeah. They weren't able to fulfill a fantasy because you're closed off. You're not emotional. All right. Somebody feels like you're not emotionally available. All right. Because of some things you went through in the past. So this person literally feels like they had false hopes. They tried to sell you a pipe dream. <laughs> and you was like, yeah, no, <laughs> you're good. Because somebody toxic is fucking, you see it. They're toxic and empty. And you're too emotionally intelligent to deal with somebody like that. I know that's right. Hmm. Yeah, so they wasn't able to fulfill a fantasy, y'all. I don't know what type of fantasy. they. I guess they thought they was going to play with you. <laughs> fulfill a fantasy in the reverse. They stuck because they wasn't able to fulfill a fantasy. What was a fucking fantasy? Some sex shop energy with a joker. Yeah, this person literally was unrealistic. They weren't able to fulfill a fantasy. It's because this person could have been a very demanding. Somebody was being very unrealistic here. All right. Somebody could see you as a high maintenance person. But if somebody feels like you, the reason why they couldn't fulfill a fantasy is because whatever, it was so unrealistic. You ran away from this person. All right. Somebody could have been trying to be demanding towards somebody that maybe somebody feels like you have been hurt in the past and you don't stick around for nothing. Yeah. So the sex shop energy got kicked to the curb and somebody's been investigating here. Like what fucking happened? And somebody could have recorded something and they see somebody got manipulated. And now they're trying to make an exit plan because the secrets are coming out. Or somebody feel like they got played. Okay. <sighs> Date night. You're ready to be wind and dine. So now somebody trying to find their way out of a situation because they got themselves caught up. So date night. Get ready to be wine and dying. Keeping a promise is forgiving. You somebody kept a promise to forgive somebody. They didn't mean to hurt you. 
but you was holding on to it. So somebody could be feeling like you're not emotional anymore. <sighs> yeah, it's, I mean, life has its twists and turns, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you just never know which side you're going to like land on and stuff like that or where you're going to end up, you know what I mean, on your spiritual journey. And I feel like somebody feels like, you know, you kept your promise, you did forgive this person, but that doesn't mean that you're going to open your heart to this person anymore. It's like, damn, yeah, I can't make it up. <laughs> you forgave this person here, but this it just don't work. This is a dang dangerous with together triggers. This person is too it's a it's a deadly combo between the two of y'all. This person could be like a sneaky snake here. Maybe you ran away from a sneaky snake. This person was going behind your back being a deceitful. This person was a swindler and it crushed them. Something it got crushed here. This person could be hurting sex shop here. Maybe this was just a sexual connection that you had with somebody. And they feel crushed. Because somebody literally watched it all go down and enjoy the gossip about how unpredictable you are or this situation was. They did not see this coming. Somebody was keeping a secret that they was already was really in between two people. And I feel like some sort of toxic energy here. Toxic mirror. They didn't cause no drama. Somebody wanted to get a room. This person that was all talk, but she was closed off to this individual in whatever way. Yeah. So no, it wasn't the right time. Okay. It's not the right time. So somebody got to know from the universe or something like that. Somebody like you, you're not the same. If you, this is somebody from your past, they feel like you are not the same. Like, what the fuck happened to you? Kind of energy. A gold digger. Yeah, it's gold digger. No, it's not the right time. They are crushed. Yeah, because they know that they were being, somebody could be hella promiscuous. They tried to keep a secret. Like, you know, they was doing too much. A gold digger. What about the gold digger? They was only in it for what they can get. This person could be money hungry. Self-serving. Here we go, Digger. Was expecting a new beginning. A late bloomer. There is an age gap between you and this person. But you're too emotionally intelligent for this individual. That's why something is over. Yeah, it says they're pretending that it's not ending, but it's time to let go and make a fresh start. Yeah, they know it's over. It's like, it's okay to let go in this situation with this person. And I feel like one of y'all, maybe the feminine energy, oh Lord. Yeah, you was too emotionally intelligent. This person wanted to get you pregnant. That's wild. <laughs> with tantric sex, that's wild. You so smart. Good. Okay. Because somebody tried to get you pregnant. You so smart. They knew you was having a new beginning and they thought they could manipulate you to maybe having sex with them or something so they can get you pregnant. That's wild. But it's over. And also, I feel like whoever this is, if this person got somebody pregnant, that's what killed the whole situation. Because... um. You too emotionally intelligent to have a new beginning with this person. Because you know what they're there for. Because maybe somebody didn't value you at one point and now they was trying to. Whatever this is. But when they got this person pregnant, when they got somebody pregnant that they had a brief affair with, that's when they killed the contract with you. And it's like they, they don't want to see that. <laughs> it's like they don't want to see where it all... Yeah, that's when it all happened. That's when everything... Blew up in their face. Whoever this is. That's this gold digger energy. Whoever this is. It's like everything blew up in their face when they did that. Yeah, and they know that. See? Drowning. Envy. Oh. Oh. This person could be heartbroken right now. 
and they're drowning. Somebody is envying, very envious of you right now. Because somebody feels like now that you're in this leadership position, you're self-righteous. And they hate that about you. I know that sounds crazy, but you just saying what you mean, meaning what you're saying. And they don't like that. They don't like the fact that you stand in tall for yourself. Yep. <laughs> because they are controlling. They want to control you and they're very jealous. It's, it needs to be right all the time. And it could be a very jealous lover. This person could be very jealous. This person is heartbroken. It's like this person refused to do the healing work on their end. Like, and it's just... It just wasn't going to work. Confirmation. Somebody really refused to do their own journey, their own healing work. They thought they'll be able to, you know, pull you back in here. Okay. Yeah, this person is mad as hell that you moved. Somebody did. Maybe they didn't know you moved. <laughs> they didn't know you moved. Yeah. They're very angry. Maybe some drugs or alcohol or something somebody takes makes them angry. What's anger management? Somebody is mad, mad as hell that you moved. Anger management. You change residence and somebody is pissed. Because they thought they knew something about you. And they didn't the whole time. They feel like a fool. Yep. Total drama. This person is anger management. Total drama. But they say they hate nothing about you. Yeah, it's over though. With these fake friends that was enjoying the gossip. Maybe some people knew about something here. Total drama. Game over. It's over for this drama. Somebody's very angry because you moved. And they're angry because they was trying to cause drama for you or something. But they know that they can't. Game over for the total drama energy. Yeah, when it comes to the sex shop energy. Whoever this is, they hate nothing about you, apparently. Yeah. They feel like they're going through the motions. They went through the motions just to play this game with you, but you had already left. You already found your exit plan from this promiscuous person. They could be having legal issues here. We got teasing and tangled. Exposed and crushed. Damn. This person is hurt, y'all. They hate nothing about you. Maybe, like I said, it was just a sexual sexual connection that's over. It was full of drama. Don't nobody want time for that. And somebody's very angry. Like, you literally moved or you literally changed residence or what? Okay. Somebody feels like you're more beautiful than ever right now. I don't know if you've seen this person recently or what. Somebody is hella grief right now. Earth in the reverse. What's the message? Damn. Experience. 
I could have cried as of recently about this. Yeah, they like help me. Some they asked that somebody with experience to help them. <sighs> okay. Because they can't ground something in with you. You could be an earth sign or dealing with one. What's going on? Because they know that you're about to have a good relationship with somebody that's compatible for you. Now that you're in this new world, somebody's really hurt. Fire. So somebody could be a fire sign or an earth sign for some of y'all. What's the message? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Suspicious in the reverse. Cats in the reverse. You get to curl up and be comfortable in y'all own space now. Because a plot plan scheme is over. We got love and friendship. Somebody would love a friendship with you. At least can we be friends? Energy. <sighs> you know. But it's kind of hard. You know, being friends with someone. if Like those that understand. Like being on the other side. Okay. Of this love story kind of energy. For some of y'all. It's the first, usually it's the run of a mill, like, oh, it's the feminine energy, because I feel like it's the other way around right now in a situation where it's a feminine energy that is in a leadership position that is just not as emotional as they once was or something like that. They're coming out as emotionally unavailable, okay? Um, you make very diplomatic, like I said, very, you could be very much so, um, I don't know what you've been through, babe, but... Uh, you make a lot of decisions as if, you know, when you don't use your emotions to make your decisions, maybe you're an air sign. Maybe you could be, um, like a Libra or, um, Aquarius or something like that. No shade to Libras or Aquarius. I love y'all. But when you get into your non-emotional energy, it's kind of hard for somebody to get you out of that. It's like you feel feelings when you feel them, but you know. Something like that has happened in a situation, okay? Um, or you could be a, a Taurus or somebody could be a, a Taurus that is feeling like you have like absolutely no feelings anymore or something like that. And it's not that. I feel like you just see something for what it is and you're just not going to fool yourself. And they don't understand that. They never seen that before, Okay. It's like usually their love spells work. Usually something works for them or something like that. I don't know. But somebody feels as though you're cold or something. And it's like, damn, okay? And somebody could be really in love with you. And you just don't feel that. And it's kind of weird for it to be the shoe on the other foot. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> friendships this could be even a friend of yours somebody is seeking counsel from those who know you well wow about your feelings love y'all this could be kind of serious i don't know man <laughs> somebody really is seeking counseling from wow has it occurred to you that it might be unsettling to see you arise from the day, the grave to visit me. It's like somebody sees like you changed a lot. Somebody really feels like that. And um, because this is American werewolf in London, somebody feels like you transformed so fucking much, yo. Like even in this card, you see how he's like, and she's looking at him like, what? I don't know if you if y'all are seeing it like how I'm seeing it. He's like, no, you like we're made for each other. She's looking like what? <laughs> no, actually, I'm over here with it. You know, I don't know. <laughs> we have love. Approach in social interactions with an open heart. So somebody friend is saying that. You're very, you come off as very loving, nurturing, and kind. You do. Because that's just sort of how you are. All right. So somebody's not suspicious or even, they get why somebody is so passionate about you. All right. 
maybe a friend of theirs could be seeing why somebody still like talk about you or is passionate about you or something like that. But, you know, they want to be friends. They want to be more than friends with you. Maybe these friends are friends is talking about you, child. Suspicion in the reverse. Because somebody can be really curious about you. Sleep on it. Yeah, if somebody don't understand. Sleep on it. It'll all make, make, ah, it may all seem less complicated in the morning. Because somebody can't understand you, though. They can't. I don't know what you did, sweetheart. <laughs> somebody like, I don't, I don't know what the fuck to do, okay? Fire. Well, somebody is letting it all come down. Something new will arise. Is it really worth it? That's what somebody's asking. Oh, earth in the reverse. They can't seem to ground something with you. New environments bring you new opportunities. So somebody feels like they're not even on the menu because your new energy, your new environment brought you brand new everything. Because you move, they are mad. Something about you moving is like, I don't know if 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 the spell only worked if you were in a certain neighborhood or in a certain energy or something. Moving could even be relocating spiritually. Like somebody don't somebody like what the F, y'all. Mm -hmm. Because somebody really wants you to get them a second chance or something. Or even to be friends or something. But you don't trust this person or something. I don't know what you got going on, sweetheart. Hmm. Because you're everything and you're not a broke ass. Should I use these ones? Like somebody wasn't able to trick you or something. Friendship. A friend is looking you up. So they want to know where the fuck, how did somebody mess up with you like this? A friend is looking you up. Friendship. They asking a friend that will help them look you up or help them with something. A groupie of a, of a boss daddy. going on this boss daddy could throw a lot of parties and stuff somebody could have said something about you like not being social or you are stuck up or you this is that and a third but somebody seen you maybe out somewhere again i don't know maybe you went had a party or something and they see like you 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 approach outside world with an open heart. You don't judge anyone. You don't do not like somebody because you're in this leadership position. Maybe somebody was saying that about you or something. I'm not sure. But at a party, somebody dodged a bullet. Wow. Okay. What's going on here? Friendships. Asking a friend for advice. Cop blocking. Wow. How did you dust this cop blocking energy off? How come? Because they want you back. This person that's an obsessive lover, that's a karmic, wants you back. They asked a friend to help them cop block you because they want you. Cop blocking, bruh. I'm crying. Drama starter. So, uh, damn, yo, what is this? An obsessive lover that is hooked on you. They were fake smiling. They getting bad karma for something that they did. So, somebody could have asked a friend to help them cock block you. This cock block a drama starter that's an obsessive lover. They could, and they get bad karma for trying to force something on you. Just because you're uninterested in them. They tried to force something and got bad karma. This uh, obsessive lover is a drama starter that was trying to cock block somebody or something. A friend or something like that. Or for you even having friendships. Like, because <laughs> the they want to be with you. This is strange. 
love. That's love. Screenshots. It was a waste of time. So somebody feel like they got proof that they wasted their time trying to rob you. Trying to rob be a thief. A boss daddy's karmic friend is played the fuck out. They got rejected. You rejected them. <laughs> so somebody got screenshots and proof that it was a waste of time because you rejected somebody that was a broke ass. That was making fake accounts to spy on you. You're moving on from this person. And they stressed all in their head. Okay. Somebody is, is not suspicious anymore. Because they know you be moving in silence. Wherever you go, like nobody never know where you at or something. Maybe you move in silence and you just pop up different places. This is what somebody is telling somebody. Like, yeah, they be out. They just don't tell nobody that they be going out or they be doing stuff. But they just don't, they don't post nothing or they don't say nothing. You be moving in silence. Because this person is a wolf in sheep's clothing that's creeping on you. Somebody is now running because they lied about you. Somebody could be seeing you and like somebody, somebody like again, I don't know where you was at. And somebody seeing you in person, they know somebody lied about you. And they going back to the source of who, whatever. Because somebody been lying to somebody like, oh, they, they had the facts about you. And they had absolutely no facts. So now somebody's not suspicious no more. Because they know you be out. <laughs> you be traveling. You be just living your best life. But you be moving the signs. I don't nobody never know where the fuck you at. Moving in silence. A wolf in sheep's clothing is creeping. A happiness hater. Because they're a happiness hater. Wolf in sheep's clothing. That's always partying. Was looking you up. And you dodged a bullet from this crazy person. That was fake smiling. The sex fix energy. Maybe you have a sex with this person at whatever point in your journey here. And you dodge a bullet from this crazy person. <sighs> so a wolf and she's clothing here. It's always you that's always partying here. What's always partying? Ha didn't have no inside proof. So a wolf and she's clothing could have said you was always partying. That wasn't your truth. They didn't have no information on you at all. Yeah. You've been moving in silence or you've been moved on. And now somebody could even be moving on from getting, now that they got proof that somebody been fishing for comments because they stressed. Because they wanted to feed off of you. That's the only reason why they wanted you back in a third party situation due to you and your money. And this person could have been stalking you and crying because they have a hurt ego. Because they could have offered something to a groupie to look you up. And somebody knows that this person is just a happiness hater because an imposter could have been trying to dig up dirt on the queen rising here. And... Somebody that could have had some sort of STD tried to make you a dirty offer. And they like, wow, you ain't shit for trying to kiss this person's ass. Trying to ignore the fact that you're, their light irritated your demons. And you've been haunted by the bad choices that you made. Like, that's wild. So somebody trying to give you the the nasties. Okay? And you're not, you're not sleeping with this person at all. <laughs> what? Because so, you're happy. They don't want, they want you to be miserable like them. Somebody could be burning with their fire energy. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. What is the fire? That is hilarious, yo. What's the fire? We got jackpot. So they found out the truth. Somebody found out the truth. And I guess everything is blowing up in somebody's face with their fire energy. Yeah, let it all come down. Something new will arise. They something blowing up in the stalker face. They found out you hit the jackpot in your life. In life, this person has been stalking you. They know that you good. Okay. They're either you want money, you got rich. Yeah, and that's why somebody wanted you in this love triangle. <laughs> what the hell? Or they feel like now that you are financially successful or stable, that you have multiple lovers and choices. You can be with whoever you want. So the wandering eye, you may be keeping your options open. There's a love triangle. 
spiritual hater feels threatened and intimidated because they was trying to put you in a girl fight. You don't even want this person. <laughs> and somebody's trying to dust it off now because they found out you moved away from a thief. A boss daddy's karmic friend is like, yo, this shit is getting played out stalking this person because you hurt about this person. <laughs> they keep asking questions and he done, they done stalking you. Somebody found out that you actually moved. It's over. Somebody has been fishing for comments. A spiritual hater was fishing for comments here to see if you received an offer from a groupie. Child. It's been cyberbullying you. Yeah, this person has a bad reputation now. The person that was a spiritual hater that was fishing for comments that was cyberbullying you has a bad reputation because they do a lot of drugs. They could be on drugs or something. And they got legal issues for trying to dig up dirt on the queen rising. This person maybe was talking hella shit that could saying you wasn't shit just so that you that you would give them money. So somebody is trying to get money out of you, extortion kind of energy as well. So somebody like, is this even really worth it? Yeah, experience. Is this the experience they wanted? Because they're not getting what they want here, apparently. We got a queen rising. Yeah, is it really worth talking shit about a queen rising? Carless in the reverse. <sighs> okay. Maybe because you're not Carless or you got a chauffeur. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I don't know. Beef. This person knows that you can get around wherever you want. Somebody thought they was taking something away from you. Maybe somebody could have did a spell to make you not want to drive or something. So you have a driver or not want to have something. So somebody felt like, is it even worth it? Because even though this person, um, whatever, they try to take something from you, you still be out. <laughs> you still be traveling. You still go places. And somebody could be trying to take something from a boss daddy now, a fake friend of theirs that's thinking about you. Yeah, something wasn't taken from you, Queen Rising. They can't take something from you. Somebody been hooked on trying to rob you, but you safe everywhere you go. Like, and also hooked on people trying to get people to ignore you. Like, what? Carlos in the reverse. Yeah, since you moved, you're good. A well, queen rising is good. She out, okay? And she good. Since you moved away from uh, somebody that's been trying to feed off you. A creative muncher, you've been good. You've been chilling. And somebody been creeping. They want to know what the fuck, okay? How you dodge this bullet. They, they, dust, they trying to dust it off. The fact that you dodged a bullet from somebody little playing. Being a groupie, creeping. Somebody been moved. You moved and somebody been creeping. Because they see, uh, I don't know, child. Creeping. They want to know who you dealing with. Nobody. <laughs> somebody ain't had no facts. So somebody could have been lying, saying you was dealing with somebody. That was a lie. They was just making shit up, a groupie. Just stupid, okay? Somebody could have even said you was fake flexing. Child, it wasn't. Somebody was just lying. Saying whatever about you, Queen Rising. <laughs> Earth in the reverse. So somebody like, wow. So somebody could be all in their feelings about something. Because you, you could have leveled up in life or something like that. Yeah, they really want to make an offer here. But you're like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, they're not expecting that energy from you. You leveling up and you like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Kind of energy. Yeah, making an offer, fake smiling. This person stressed the fuck out because they, they like, oh, you don't want my offer? You're like, no, no, thank you. Making an offer, fake smiling. Looking you up. This person been looking you up. And they trying to dust it off because they finding out all facts about you. Like, you really are doing, oh, you are okay. You doing really good. You really happy. This is that in the third, like... Somebody tried to force a narrative on your over your life, and it was, it just was not given, okay? Yeah, so somebody knows that they got to move on from trying to say you was bankrupt. <laughs> they know why you're unbothered. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not... Yeah, they can't ruin your reputation. You will never marry for money. 
Nobody is giving you money or any of that. Like, you're good on your own. And they like, damn. So you don't got nobody taking care of you? No. Why? Just because she a queen rising? She stepped into her power. And somebody is moving on now from saying you bankrupt because they clearly see that you're not unbothered. That's why somebody know you was unbothered when there's rumors. Somebody could have been spreading rumors that you was fake flexing or bankrupt. You know, not my collective. My collective good. <laughs> yeah, that shit played out. It's dumb. That's played out. You're unbothered. And it's played out. Somebody trying to have you in a girl fight with somebody with STD. Girl, bye. This girl fight, whoever she is, is holding a grudge because she was feeding off of you. And somebody only was kissing ass because they know somebody was making shit up. A whole group of people that was karmic friends was clout hungry, saying anything, being dramatic and making shit up. And somebody, just because somebody was in their ego, this person could have been stalking you. Because they knew somebody only wanted you back to dig up dirt. And they got proof that you was giving somebody money because your money is good. And now they trying to run from it. The fact that they was a happiness hater, that your light irritated they demons just because somebody was into you. They were saying you was on drugs. It was all a part of their plan here. And somebody is really heavily bothered because they tried to cause legal issues Somebody could have even had legal issues going on because they tried to get somebody to steal something from you. And they hurt because they're like, why would you ruin this, try to ruin this person's reputation saying they married for money and they remember all the negative shit somebody was saying about you to a boss daddy. And that boss daddy like, man, psh, somebody unfazed now. Because now somebody in their head they and their feelings and that somebody been making dirty offers and you was uninterested in somebody here or somebody was saying like whatever this is somebody in their head because they made a dirty offer and now somebody's uninterested because they clearly see you are too busy winning and whatever this situation with this child services shit they like you ain't shit for that saying that this person had stds and this and that you actually dodged a bullet from a hustler or something like that somebody trying to hustle somebody yeah now somebody is realizing like Somebody was an imposter the whole time as they take a moment to reflect. And they trying to just dust it off and ignore the fact that they were saying that you was acting rich or something. Or they was hooked on saying something negative about you. Or they're hooked on acting rich and people are looking at this person weird. Like, what you on? You know? Somebody really want to know what you on. And they were trying to for force a narrative that is just not about who you are as a person. So I know that you're very loving, you're very generous, you're this is that and the third, and it's like, what are we doing? Hmm. Let me clean this up. Okay, so also I'm getting this person that could be high maintenance, that's a sneaky snake. They may be losing friends behind the scenes or people that fucked with you, fuck with them. Because somebody see like you're a really good person. So they somebody was just lying about y'all. All right. Somebody did a lot of lying about y'all. No good came from that hex of curse they did. It backfired on them. A new neighbor could be significant. And she is big mad. Because they created a mess and was hoping somebody can help them fix it. An Islamic man or a woman. Okay. 10 years ago with Jehovah's Witness. Something about an Aquarius. See? A year ago. KW. She got that comeback. Somebody didn't want to let somebody go in the reverse. Thursday, this person has a dark attachment. We got I, a Virgo. That's why love and lust spells don't work. You walked away from a karmic Monday. We got Libra, J, R, in the springtime. Ten years ago. They know you know M. A seven-day of Venice. The police is watching them. A crooked landlord and a Jehovah's Witness. Q. C. 
see. First phase, middle initial. This man or woman is tall. God is so proud of you and how brave and strong you have became. G. They didn't mean what they said about y'all to others. Somebody is like trying to renege on everything they said about you, about their mom. You mean everything to them. Somebody could have been talking crap about somebody's mom or something. They didn't mean what they said about somebody's mom. You mean everything to them. And he is so mad because he believes something. A co-worker believes something about you. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, what is the message? Something about an aunt, somebody, a Russian man or a woman. What's the message for the spirit, the spirit? What is the message? Somebody could be a woman practitioner on the full moon. This person got mental illness. They knew you was protected from all negative energy. They see you going through a body transformation, getting fit. Somebody knows that you're protected from all evil in all forms. Somebody seeing you going through a body transformation, getting fit. A divine being is free of any sickness or disease. So it is. Balance and harmony have been restored in every area of your life. A Capricorn on a full moon, T. So something about balance and harmony being, being restored in every area of your life here. In the summertime for you. <sighs> this man has dreads or braids. They could be a part of a coven or organization or a secret society. An ex-friend, dad, two weeks ago, a Taurus on a Saturday and their niece on Friday. A Leo D on the fall in the fall. Somebody is very sorry for causing the pain or causing all this pain collective. Somebody's son. Their ancestors told them to back off and they didn't listen. So return to sender to all involved, known or unknown. Something could backfire on somebody's son because they did something to you. A Aries. This man has a thick beard. The group that they that went against you with them is now looking at them. Because they see you as I told you. Because these people that, whatever somebody was saying about you, they see you were earth angel. They're like, what the fuck? Why would you lie on this person? Somebody, grandma? Child, somebody telling this person, like, that is an earth angel. Like, this person is a light worker. And they was trying to tell somebody, grandma, or somebody, grandma was saying you was low vibrational or something like that. H. A crooked boss and a co-worker lost everything for coming for you. And that's why people be losing around them. It's because you're an earth angel. Somebody is starting to see that. That's why something keep backfiring. That's why ain't no way a robbery, nobody can rob you of anything. Somebody see that you move past all the obstacles that they had placed in front of you. The ancestors told them don't do this shit. You never wanted revenge on somebody. Yeah, A, everything backfired on them and everybody they worked with. Yeah, because you're protected from dream magic. From a woman with a shortcut, okay? They know that you're going to have uh, positive changes now, okay? So, I hope this helped.